Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's Gart, this is Arachnotube. Um, I am pottering today and I want to show you one species of um, Zenethsis, which is quite rare in the UK hobby. She, this one, and I'll show you in a second, is um, a, a smallish juvenile um, that we're growing on uh, for breeding purposes. Now, um, they came up for sale from the spider shop uh, about six months ago. And uh, they're pretty damn expensive for little, for little you know, slings that they are. But uh, I'm really chuffed. Claire wanted one, we got one. For, you know, she wanted it. They're awesome looking things. Um, Imanis, so Xenethesis Imanis, uh, is one of my favorite uh, New World spiders. Yeah. So I've been pottering around. What happened was, is that uh, I'm using my pressure sprayer. And I have to, obviously, you can see that. And slide them up and spray underneath and then um, she legged it out and legged it out here and then like up and around so I thought may as well while she's out I obviously got it back into a catch cup and I took her over to where um, all, all the lighting section is and I'll take a few photos if any of you guys want any um, Dolomedes Triton the six spotted uh, fishing spider spiderlings uh, go on the website, they'll be up today. Which is about a week before this is released, so yeah, they're up now. So this is a um, Xenethesis species tenebris, so very much like the uh, Xenethesis imanis, but it is uh, an undescribed Xenethesis. So time will tell if it's a different species or not, but we do think that it is. Now I've literally popped this one into, this is a, um, where are we? This here is just uh, an enclosure so I could take some photos, take some pics, take some video. But uh, I was doing some maintenance and she popped out of her enclosure. So uh, perfect opportunity while I grabbed her to return her to her home. This is so a uh, small juvenile. They get a lot bigger than this. And they're pretty rare in the hobby. There's a few out there. Uh, this one is actually female. I've got another one that's male. And hopefully what I'm trying to do is speed the female up and slow the male. But it's a Xenethesis species, which I call them the bog brush ass spiders. Because the seti on the abdomen resemble that of a red bog brush. So we're all popping out like this. And just I'll just move her slightly. Right there we go. Now then, you just for you to get a good look at the bog brush ass, and there we go. That is the bog brush ass for you. Really great looking fun spiders. Uh, this one uh, will be in need of a molt soon, so she needs to because uh, the carapace is just a bit duller than normal. She's usually bright red on the carapace. But an excellent looking spider and I want to try and get uh, a really nice bit of photos for her because she, almost always she's hiding look at that she's been super well behaved for me today I'm just wondering if I just drop a mealworm right there she'll take it outside of a normal enclosure let's go get a mealworm It's very loose substrate, so the mealworm just will disappear just straight away. Nah, she's not up for that. She's standing still. That um, arse up, so the abdomen up in the air raised like that, is 
basically a defense mechanism. It's to make you look as big as possible and obviously getting ready to flick those um, those urticating seti, those, uh, those itchy hairs out at you. And Xenethsists do have quite, quite itchy hairs. So I'd, I would rank them kind of up there with Theraposa, with um, Lasiodora. But not for me, not as bad as Trixopalma, they're, they're literally the worst. Okay, so I think it's probably about time that we pop it back in. And uh, like I say every single time, there's literally no reason why you should uh, freak out your spider or mess with it any more than you need to. So we'll just pop that over like that and use the house spider technique. Just put, uh, just put that uh, lid there and I can just walk her then, see, just walk her, she's not going to like her, there we go, make sure her legs are out of the way, and I'm not going to click it into place because I'm only walking across the other side of the room, so just hold it uh, as it is, and uh, we'll pop her back in. So she lives here, and um, she's gone into her um, adult um, enclosure, so you need to look back if you want to see her being popped into here. There is, I'm sure somewhere on my channel there is a, uh, there is a video, because that's what I do on this channel, I make videos. And you go in and see how quick she is? Honestly, right, there's no kind of harm with this one at all, apart from the rotating bristles, like I say. There we go. And just tidy, oh, just tidy all these up, because I've watered them all now, so some of them are a bit wonky. Cool. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me uh, on a quick video about Xenethsis species tenebris. Quite a, a rare one in the UK hobby. Thank you very much uh, everyone. Uh, if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button, show that you like it. If you love it or you like what I do, hit the subscribe, subscribe button and uh, I'll see you on the next one. You stay safe. Take care.